Hello and welcome to an LVP vlog, sort of. So, I, I last week I probably forgot about this. I knew it was coming, but I didn't know exactly next week. So basically, this is interesting. Now, since 2015, we've had one Equestria Girl movie each year. You know, yeah, we, each year, yeah. The power of this year, because we have an actual movie coming out, it doesn't make sense to also release an Equestria Girl movie. So, they kind of do release an Equestria Girl special, each one about 22 minutes. Well, kind of like a regular episode for a regular show. And the way they kind of, and they kind of make one question, but about three of them, and they're going to come each week. So, this week's one, that week's another, another. Apparently, got leaked online somehow. I don't know exactly how it happened. They went over the airing again, which another one happened, by the way. It was in Australia for a regular episode. You know, I'm making a break, and I haven't seen the episode, so. Like, uh, people already put the review of it, which really bothers me. People just put some views, but whatever. But I don't mind watching it and giving an opinion, but doing professional movies, I feel like, you know. Anyway, but either way, that means I have to vlog professional and, um, so that's what we can do. And I could blink all on one, DC special all on one DVD at some point, so I'll probably get that. Anyway, so I'm gonna vlog them. And I think this is a bad idea. I'm doing a million fans. I feel like when we move, like, most think of movies, like, which we probably don't have to do thing, because it won't matter as much if you're reading ideas, because it's 22 minutes again, we can just review it and treat it like a, just a simple little episode, instead of a movie. Even if it's not much of a protective movie or neither, and it's going to be so scared. You know? So I feel like that idea do be special, because it's going for that good, you gotta waste a bunch of time, and it's not like a much stake in a simple television episode. Anyway. I'm here for the first of these special dance magic written by Julian Ambro. Yeah, Julian Ambro comes back and for this special, which I don't have a whole lot to say about. Um, basically, they're doing the competition, which they have to like make a make a video or something like that. And of course, Rarity. Yeah, everyone's doing. Big Rarity called the fun little contract of a lot of fashion for them to do for a little make it video. Um, and they are. However, she makes the dumb mistake of telling the, uh, little prep girl, you know, little group of people about the idea, and then she finds out that they have stolen her idea and going to pack it off as their own, and now her stuck trying to find a way to turn it into a different idea or do something. So, first thing you probably notice is that, yeah, the whole contest was done before Rarity takes Manhattan. Rarity got, get, you know, you know, I, I got it for fashion, shrug the phone off, and then they steal it, and they have to figure out what to do, and I think brand new. Same thing. Little Petum Aqua did the idea of that big for play episode. Yeah, I think that first half I was kind of worried, because it's like, oh no, we're doing this plot again, I've seen it before, and I've seen it go so well. And I did think a lot that they were, after seeming not that bad by the end of the movie, we were at that corner bad again now, but although we do like shape but can't take more than one friendship game to get them to change the other way again. But guess thing that it complied to take like before Legend of Free, which you kinda have to get that secretly summer camp and we're still in school here. So I assume that the rest of the special welcome oh boy, one special sound particularly interesting, but I'll get to that one when I get to that one based on the premise. Um you know. But you know after a little long, I did think got better, particularly with some stuff we do at the end. Uh, so for that, I think I'll have to get about it. We get the usual stuff you would expect. But the interesting about this one that it primarily style like, like a French magic episode just with humans. You know, about story, not only story, kind of story they would do, and they have. You know, some girl forgot the vehicle number, and even the credit card exact same as the show, like the credit. And even dug the whole. They got a good special question going intro, which is somewhat original and based on the intro from the movie so far. And it's alright, it's a short little intro. Essentially, you get the whole thing, it's an intro, then you have the good running with the normal credits, you know, written by, whatever. Of course, it's not like I can roll which makes me think the special are done to. I'm kidding. What, what movie, apparently, I don't know what their whole intention was, but a lot of people who know can be a pilot for a question you know, but I'm kidding, but. Before moving in, and we haven't heard anything about that. But now we have the Gotrak Kumar, 
a way to keep people are interested in a whole hearing of it with the little pilot. So I assume if you do well enough, you'll probably get an equipment with most getting a hearing of that show, getting the King and Eight, and that probably lacking in. I don't can't really see them. I don't know if the movie does well enough, they might be more and more moving of that. I don't know. But I guess we'll see, but but kind of tell a good episode, I do think that kind of gigs charm. And the corner we got some good to be more. The to the main character gave really good clarity, and the other get a few funny lines. But if a cold guy was trying to come with an idea for a mini video, then of course we get some giant style, we get some beginning stuff like, you know, apparently Rainbow Dashing is style style like a Daring Do movie, Daring Do book. <laughs> oh, get a movie for me. And go, go Daring Do and get the Nicky Rick. And I do want to, it, it can only Daring Do and Nicky Rick as well. Okay, we'll find. Okay, <laughs> boy, it's not Daring Do related to the plot of that one from my read. So we'll probably find out then. But, um, it was definitely going to be tough and like it's kind of typical and the stuff we have seen before and in general, but there is some big moments and uh, I do like Prairie at the Spoken Keener. She is. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, like about the character. I think she was better than the ones along with Guy, uh, yeah. And of course, because it's Twy, she got Guy Twy. For the fourth one, um, but I can't remember that Gail had to do. She is there. So if you want more of her guy, you can get the naked. Um, it's kind of gonna have to think, get more entertaining, There's more jokes for them trying to figure out to do, and we do get a little twist with chunk of the script about people, in which we dial it back and give them more motivation for what they're doing and make them good again. But in a way, I think that was well, totally natural. Nothing too quick and surprising, but it was definitely nice when we, you know, when, when things calm down. Then part of the big video on the Kong it was fun. The Kong calls was yeah, typical, but I think it was fine for what it was all things considered. The um big video was really cool though, and I like that. I do think the part of the comedy I did get my favorite part, just because I had a lot of joke and yeah, I do like the big like but none of the stuff you do with Dan King, I'm thinking like, yeah, pretty funny, right? <laughs> so I like that. I don't think I'm ever that. Yeah, the kind of like the light hanging of how how pointless but it was funny. Oh, Funny. <laughs> um. Um. But yeah, that's we get the special story you have seen before. With the twist that could be my thing will hurt or think it was pretty solid. So, but can't get a twenty-two special. It it it's only just twenty-two minutes. So that was life of fresh and magic episode. So it. That ball club, that thing, that's what you're getting. There's a couple code, and I can go and being kind of in on it because it's not that visual or single story. But there are even little touches, and there's a little moment, and the funny moment, and the nice ending. Like, you know, bring it up for combo. For combo might just be. Yes, yeah, okay, if you're against the movie in general, I don't think it's going to sway you. If it's four movies in a row, it's not sway you, but this will not either. So, they can be a little more baby for more. For saying specifically, or for just Vogue who wants to question more spike guys from this one on. I think we're gonna see one time, so I feel like it started off with one that had a lot going on in it, or complex story, but it might be pointing if we go to this one, because starting off with one that gives you a better eye, because really is like French Magic. I could see, I mean, I've kind of obviously some minor different things happen, I could see things happening as an episode in general, so that's not good. You know, so I think it's a nice way to start out the special. And overall, I would call it good, although it was on the lower side, it is still kind of lower side because, you know, it is not that special type of a story, but yeah, I mean, it was entertaining. But it is, again, I think it has a nice enough ending, so yeah, it is good. Not that good necessarily, but fine, you know. And I can relate to that first movie, I guess, more than the other one. But, um, I don't know. So, We'll see how the other two turn out. That's not one particularly interesting, but the next one is next week, and I believe I want to call it Movie Magic, and I don't know, what, I don't remember the other call. I've seen it, but I don't remember the title. But I don't think it's next week, so. And for my, on my DVR, they just refer to the Question Girl special called the Capital Theory, so. They don't tell me the title is on the upcoming two, so. We'll see next week with, I believe, Movie Magic next. But I'm not get sure on that. But we'll see you for the next special. Regardless.
And tomorrow I will have a first impression vlog on Hotel Drinkly of Eternity. Now this video put through yesterday, but I got caught up in some other things and laziness. So I push it to today and the Hotel Random thing will push through to tomorrow. You know, I guess I could, but then I'll do a few other one day. I'll, well, I'll just put vlogs up on the same day I record them because consistency. Not that really matters that much, but doesn't matter. So, you tomorrow. But yeah, in short, fun little special email. Yeah, not too special because of the story, but overall, you can dribble enough. But I hope that too, keep an eye on a bit. So I shall see you tomorrow for Hunter with the Way of Hearing again next week for Movie Magic or that other one. I'm going to help you guys next week. I think that other one is a good way to end on me. You know, big kind of magic and Movie Magic again that middle round. But I guess we shall see you. Goodbye.